It's terrible news. He was a great, a great comedy icon and a wonderful man, very generous and an inspiration to a lot of generations of comics. And I'm sure he'll continue to be that. Well, um, I met him in a comedy club after I'd auditioned for his film, um, Mrs. Doubtfire, and uh, the club owner encouraged I approach him and tell him I auditioned. I was too shy, but I finally did. And Robin said, well, which role? I said, well, the role of Ann Shack. And then he said, well, that shouldn't be a problem. And then before I knew it, I was on the set with him and Harvey Firestein for a week. And then I would see him intermittently in comedy clubs after that. And I saw him last summer do a set in San Francisco. He was great. Well, he was incredibly supportive and erudite. And I never knew when the cameras were rolling, really, because he improvised so much. His mind worked so quickly. We just had to keep up. It was my job, really. Just try to stay on track with him. He's doing a set and he seems so sprightly and so, you know, childlike the way his set was, you know, like f fast and imaginative and so personal and very intimate. I hadn't realized he really felt like he was talking to each person and uh, I was in the front row, I thought he might jump on my lap, you know, and not that he could see us, but it just felt that he may just, you know, he wanted contact with people so badly when in his set, it just felt like he was very immediate. And again, the word generous just comes to mind when I think of him all the time.